Uh, good afternoon, all. Uh, welcome to this afternoon's uh, meeting of Cabinet. Uh, first item on the agenda is the appointment of chair. I'll, I'll be chairing today's meeting. Uh, second item is just to go through a few uh, housekeeping rules, uh, just reiterating what was said in the Cabinet meeting earlier. Uh, today's meeting, uh, Cabinet scrutiny meeting, sorry. Today's meeting will be recorded. Uh, I would like at this point to welcome any members of the public and the press to today's meeting. Can I kindly ask you to observe the meeting only as you were not allowed to speak or participate in the meeting? Could everybody please ensure that phones are switched to silent for the duration of the meeting? In addition, I refer you to the protocols for remote meetings, which have been previously highlighted in the scrutiny committee. Uh, next item on the agenda is to do a roll call, so I'll hand over to you, Jen. Yeah, thank you, Leader. Councillor Cara Clement-Williams? Yes, I'm here. Councillor Harvey? Yeah, I'm here, Jen, thanks. Councillor Dorian Jones? I'm here, Jen. Councillor Leanne Jones? Present, Jen. Councillor Latham, I've marked you as present. Yeah. Councillor Lockyer? Present. Councillor Peter Rees? Present, Jen. Councillor Richards. Present, Jane. And Annette Wingrove's apologies. If I can go on now to other members. Uh, Councillor Freegard. Present, Jane. Councillor Reynolds. Present. And Councillor Steve Hunt. I'm here, Jane. Thank you. I'll go to officers now. Karen Jones. Present. Howell Jenkins. Present. Andrew Thomas. Andrew Thomas. Andrew Jarrett. Present. Simon Brennan. Simon Brennan. Craig Griffiths. Present, Jane. Stacey Curran. Charlotte Davis. Present. Hugh Jones. Present, Jane. Sheena Rees. Present, Jane. Mike Shaw. Yes, I'm here, Jane. Ian John. Rian Heaton. Present. That's it, Chair. That's uh, the roll call completed. I don't think there's anyone present that I haven't called the name of. Me, Jane, Karen. Sorry. Karen Furlow. There we are, Chair. That's the roll call complete. Thanks, Jane. Appreciate it. Um, agenda item three is Chair's announcements. Uh, just to announce that I've received two urgent items, which I will deal with under agenda item nine. Um, agenda item four, declarations of interest. Uh, are there any declarations of interest? I can I, see no indications, no, Chair. Sorry. Thank you, Jane. Um, agenda item five is the um, Kevin Coy Museum report. Uh, before I hand over to officers, and, and I know it's been a long afternoon, but it would be remiss of me not to make a comment. Um, I'd like to thank all officers um, and members for taking part in that debate. It was a, a long debate. Um, I thought it was very enthralling and, and, and very well um, chaired. Um, the comments that were made, particularly by Councillor Noyle about the structures, um, and I think Councillor Percy and Councillor Hunt mentioned about tourism and surveyors uh, would, will be taken on board. Um, and I also uh, fully endorse uh, the comments of both Andrew Thomas and Karen um, with the uh, genuine commitment to take this project uh, forward. Um, I would also like to mention um, the uh, way in which both uh, Sean and Steve both spoke very, very passionately. Um, and I think it's uh, nothing less than, than what we would have expected uh, from them. So, um, congratulations <clears throat> to everybody uh, on, on that particular item. Um, so moving on, um, I don't know whether Simon or Andrew were you and if they got anything further they want to ask. Sorry, Leader, we were just trying to ring Andrew in, um, but at the moment we can't get um, we can't get him on the, he can't, he, he's not picking up the calls. I know Simon's on leave. Okay, what I'll... I'll Chair, I'm, uh, sorry, Chair, I'm, I'm Paul Walker, I'm here if there's anything you want. Oh, there we go, sorry, Paul. If sorry. I can answer it. Yeah, okay. I'm, I, I'm a happy leader as well to pick up any uh, okay. points on the recommendations of the scrutiny Committee put to the Cabinet, if that's helpful. 
Thanks, Cara, and, and thank you, Paul. Um, okay, colleagues, any questions on, on the report? Councillor uh, Cara Clement-Williams? Thank you, Chair. Um, yeah, I know, I, I, I'd just like to say um, thank you to the officers who dealt with the, a lot of the questions uh, really well. Um, I, I second what you said about Councillor Hunt. Um, and uh, her name has left me now. Sean uh, Sean spoke so passionately. Um, just to put the record straight, um, had we been uh, flooded with loads of money, I'm sure this facility would look completely different by now. And it's something that's very close to the hearts of most people in this borough. It's it's a mining community. I'm from a mining village and you know, I've lost dear friends in mining uh, three uh, English on. Um, so it, it's not for the want of not wanting to do the work. It, it's just been priorities and this damn austerity, may I say. Um, I, I am glad that, you know, that hopefully things will move forward now and we'll get some more funding. But I, I would like to say that um, the previous councillor, Karen Pearson, was also very passionate about it and did speak up um, on behalf of the museum and um, councillor Rees, also, and let's not forget our previous leader was an ex miner. So, you know, it's not for not wanting to have done some of the work that hasn't been done. It's it's just a matter of priorities, which is, is quite sad, really. So, um, but welcome the report and thank you very much. Thank you, Carla. Uh, Peter Rees? Yes, <clears throat> can I follow on from what Carla has just said? You know, it, this. Those of us who have been in this council uh, since the beginning will know that Kevin Coyd has been an issue right from the, almost from 96. And uh, it's just been a question of finances. You know, let's be quite honest. If, as Carol has just said, if, if we were awash with money and you know the difficulties that we've had in the early days of the council and then the austerity and all the rest of it, it's, it's just not. And, look, and remember that this was, was a mine. It was a mine, and the fact that all the all what's needed to be done at the moment is, is over, uh, well, probably uh, what is it, hundred years or whatever it is, or just eighty years or whatever it is of of deterioration, and you know we, it's just not possible to do everything at once. But yes, we passionate about it. Yes, we would love to see it. it I think it could be uh, uh, something that. We, uh, you know that could be a, a, a enhance for for the rule of the authority, but let's not try to blame you know people that it hasn't been done because of any lack of wanting it to be done. It's just a question of finance. Okay, thank you, Peter. Um, I don't see any other indications. Um, yeah, there was an addition to the recommendation, Jane, which came from cabinet scrutiny. Do we need to verbally say that now? You're on mute, Jen. Yes, Chair, I think you need to um, agree. Are you happy to, to include that additional recommend, uh, suggestion by the Scrutiny Committee in that report now um, at this meeting? OK, right. Well, um, are, are we all happy with those, re with those amendments that came from... Do want, sorry, Chair, do you want to second, and, second it and... Um, well, I'm I'm having a show. I've got a show of hands, Jane. So I'll are. take that as being read. Okay. So um, this report was for information, and with the amendments that um, that uh, Jane has just um, just told us about, uh, will be noted uh, within the report. Okay. Yes, chair. Right. Thank you all for that. Um, next item on the agenda is item agenda six: the Welsh Language Standards Annual Report. Uh, Sheena. Anything to add? Hi, Chair. No, thank you. OK, thank you very much. Are we, any members, any questions? I don't see any indication. Again, um, that is for monitoring purposes, so there's no decision uh, required there. Um, agenda item seven, uh, the revenue outturn and reserves position statement. Uh, Mr Jenkins, anything to add? No, Chair. I, you know, there were a, a number of questions in, in scrutiny. We we tried to um, uh, respond and co cover those items off. 
but um, I think uh, uh, if we can just include it in the notes of, uh, of this meeting that we would uh, be bringing back a report for consideration around the budget and reserves later in the autumn so that uh, everybody uh, can have a, a, an up-to-date position at that time uh, as we are moving into setting the budget considerations for 22-23. Okay, thanks, Carol. Uh, Carol? Yeah, just uh, as I said in yeah, the meeting, just to say thank you to Howell and the team. And I did forget uh, to thank the staff in um, Council Tax Recovery because uh, even though we had COVID, we still had one of the high, it would have been one of the highest collection rates in Wales last year. So, you know, they've worked really, really hard on that one. So thanks to Howell and Hugh and all the staff. Okay, thank you, Carol. I don't see any other indications. Um, so if colleagues could go to page uh, 53 on the report, uh, we'll note that the uh, IIA first stage assessment has indicated that a more in-depth assessment is not required. Um, I move the recommendations on page 53. I second them. Okay, thank you very much. All OK with that? Yes, OK. Thank you all. Thanks very much. Um, agenda item 8 is the capital programme outturn for 2021. Um, again, Mr Jenkins, yeah, anything you want to add? Thank, thank you, Chair. I, I just think that um, as this item hadn't been scrutinised, I think I think that uh, the amount of work that has been delivered on the investment in infrastructure and projects across the county borough during the last 12 months at f nearly 59 million pounds was extraordinary as well and I think that uh, uh, the the work carried out by uh, colleagues in the environment directorate uh, in particular along with the contractors who have delivered on these uh, 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 service improvements uh, for people in their homes uh, through the disabled facility grants, uh, through the investments in, in the 21st century schools, the regeneration projects and all the others have just been uh, absolutely fabulous and, uh, and I'm sure that members would would agree with uh, uh, that position. But yes, there's you know, it, it, it's, it's a short report. Uh, it's got just over two two pages of of uh, individual projects, um, but there's a heck of a lot of work gone into delivering these in very difficult and challenging times. So um, I, I just wanted to uh, pay tribute to that particular issue, uh, leader. Thank you, Mr. Jenkins. Fully endorse what you say. Um, and perhaps it wasn't scrutinised because it's a good news story, but um, we don't know, do we? Uh, again, Carol. Yeah, I, I was I was going to make the same point, Leader. Um, it's a shame, really, that they didn't debate this issue because uh, everybody um, is very quick to criticise, but um, not so quick to say, yeah, well done. And I think we should be really proud of what we've achieved, um, or at least uh, the staff have, have achieved. They've worked so hard. Um, and, um, you know, they, unfortunately, um, it's not the kind of thing then that gets reported on. It's it's not so much the, the the bad news or the you know cuts or, or the council tax rate, tax rate or whatever. Um, and you know for them, I I think it would be nice if the um, if the media did pick up on some of the good great things that they have achieved this year. And um, the staff have worked really hard. Um, I'm personally very proud of it. Thank you. Thank you, Carol. Uh, Mike. Yeah, thanks, Lira. I, I think it'd be a miss of me not to speak. Obviously, I'm a cabinet member for the Environment Directorate, and Councillor Wingrave uh, isn't here today. But it, the amount of work as a small team and the amount of money that they bring in in funding and everything working with Howard is absolutely incredible. And what we achieve from such a small team is amazing as for the benefit of the people for Neath. And as uh, Carol said, it's pity it's not reported on and highlighted more. You know, I say it is a good story and it should go out to the public to show what is being achieved within Neath but Albert. Thank you. OK, thank you, Mike. Should we take those com comments back for us, Mr Jenkins? Thank you. Um, OK, so recommendation is on um, page 80 that we um, approve uh, the capital outturn programme. Uh, there is no requirement for a double IA on this uh, matter, so I move the recommendation. 
I second. Okay, thank you very much. Okay with that. Okay, that's great. Thank you all. Um, okay, agenda item nine is urgent items. Uh, as I indicated earlier, I've received um, two urgent items. Um, I'll take the uh, open item first, which is the re renewal of Microsoft Enterprise Agreement. Uh, Mr Jenkins, back to you again. Yeah, th th thank you, Chair, and thank you for taking this uh, at uh, short notice. Um, Chair, we sorry, is this, a, is this a private item? No, this no. one is not. Oh. Um, I, and um, yeah, the aim of this report is to allow us to ensure that we can continue to benefit from the uh, Microsoft uh, licenses and services that the Council currently has. Um, we uh, only had the information about the new charges and everything else uh, a few weeks ago in, in May, um, and the, the contract uh, needs to be renewed by uh, the end of June, hence hence the reason for the uh, um, urgent discussion uh, decision today. Um, the most of the budget uh, uh, covers it. There's 350,000 in in the base budget. It'll be covered from the uh, ICT reserve in order in in terms of the extra cost, which we estimated that the total cost will be about 415,000 to ensure that we can continue to benefit from uh, using all of the uh, functionality to deliver the services uh, uh, that our staff need and councillors uh, uh, to be able to use the technology uh, during the next uh, uh, financial year. So um, that, that's the purpose of this report and you'll see there that is for immediate implementation because of the need to uh, move things on quite quickly, uh, Chair. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Howard. Uh, anybody, any questions? Again, I don't see any. Um, OK, so if we can go to the recommendation uh, on page four, uh, taking on board that there's uh, we don't need to do a uh, interrogated uh, integrated impact assessment. Um, the recommendation there is that we um, approve the renewal of the agreement with Microsoft. Are we all okay with that? Yeah, okay, that's fine. It's obliged to. Thank you all. Okay, um, agenda item 10 uh, is access to meetings. Uh, before I move to go into private, I don't know if there's any press or public here, but. But I'll just check. Your I'll just check. This afternoon. I'll just check, Leader. Okay. While you're doing that, um, I'll move that we go into private session. Can I have a second, please? No, second. second, Leader. Thank you. Okay, Jen, if you can confirm. 